with Unity deciding that they want less users making games with their engine, a lot of developers, including me, have chosen to try out other engines. For me, that engine is Godot. Now, I don't really like following tutorials that are either really long or made over multiple videos that are about making a game from scratch so you learn the engine, but rather I like making the games that I want to make and looking for tutorials as I need specific things. So remember Greg's Mess, the game I made two years Years ago? Yeah, I remade it in Godot. I make games. Obviously it is not finished, I am still learning things and I'm just trying to recreate things one part at a time and learning about the engine. And because this was a game that I wanted to revisit anyway, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to do so. Navigating Godot was actually really easy to get used to. Once you found the thing you're looking for at least once, it is very easy to remember where to go when you need it again. I realized that Godot has a bunch of very easy ways to go about things and I find them difficult so far. So usually I just use a workaround until I feel more comfortable actually using that thing. One of the things, signals. Holy crap, they are so, so useful. useful. However, I do not have a driver's license, so signaling is very confusing to me. I'm sorry, is this guy going left and right? In reality though, it's not actually that difficult, especially with, for example, an area 2D node that's basically like a trigger in Unity. You can easily just send a signal to whatever node you want, telling that node, hey, something entered this area. It is super easy. However, you can also make custom signals and, uh, I am not ready to try that out yet. <laughs> I'll get there, I promise. However, one thing that I noticed that I'm not sure I'm very fond of just yet is the fact that Godot uses strings a lot. When referencing other nodes, you get this weird stuff like get tree, get root, get node, and then whatever string you need to get to that node in the tree of nodes. That made so little sense probably, but at the same time, it's correct. <laughs> that was one thing that I wasn't really liking at first, but then I realized you can have a, like a reference in the inspector in Godot, like you would also have in Unity if you made a, a variable public or if you use serialized field on private variables. That is such a game changer. It is huge, it is massive, it is great. <laughs> it's just awesome. I really like doing it that way because it just makes it so much easier to reference things and you won't completely break your game if you change the name of a node. I am actually getting used to saying nodes rather than objects. Yes, if only I could do the same with scenes. I hate the word scene because it makes me think of levels after so many years in Unity. So instead I made a folder called prefabs. <laughs> I've been spending a lot of time on Twitter these days, especially with everything going on, and I'm learning a lot about Godot over there as well, even though I'm not asking for any of it, but I appreciate it all. And what so many people are saying is basically, if you feel like you have to do the get tree, get root, get node stuff, remember one simple thing, call down, signal up. That's brilliant. You know, once I feel comfortable with the signals, <laughs> it's such a simple phrase, but it just, it blew my mind in a way. Cause I was like, huh, that kind of makes sense. Basically what I'm saying is I, I really have to learn signals. <laughs> Another thing I've noticed is that ChatGPT is very useful, but also quite useless because it doesn't know what Godot 4 is. I was trying to switch levels because I wanted to see how that works. And for some reason, it tried telling me to use the function change scene. That wouldn't work. It didn't know what to do with that info. And I was like, great, but you're the one that's supposed to know this. Turns out, instead of change scene, I need to use the function change scene to file. Would have been great to know that. Thanks, ChatGPT. Maybe start learning some stuff. Maybe become smarter. Maybe read some books. It's not like I actually needed it. So uh, all it does is this. You see Greg, seven times. I can count. Anyway, Godot is great. It takes some time to get used to, it takes some time to transition, and I'm really missing some quality of life stuff that Unity had, but I'll get over that. I'll just stop being a little baby. It is so much fun. And this project as well, I've had some ideas for it, and I would love to expand on the project. So do let me know if you're interested in seeing more of that. I would love to make another devlog for that as well. Until then, see you all next time. Subscribe, check out my other videos, and uh, bye.